to another video tutorial on the Valley Sketch Tricks. On today's video, I will introduce one of my favorite plugins. Uh, this is called Styles Generator. And yeah, I once uh, showed it in another video before uh, where I generate, generated styles. But in this video, I will go in a little bit deeper now and introduce how to generate styles with it. First of all, here, here's the plugin, the styles generator plugin, and you can download it on GitHub here. And um, here I prepared yeah, some styles, um, which you can use also for a library or uh, or, or your style guide, etc. And yeah, and it's just really necessary here today to use uh, styles because you got also styles in your uh, in your you got overrides in your symbols, and therefore, if you want to have a handoff uh, work with with other guys in your project, uh, in your style guides, it's really necessary to, and necessary to build styles. Okay, then let's um, uh, let's show you how I do this. Okay, here I preparated some some styles before uh, text styles, uh, and as you can see, there are no no styles yet. But uh, I can do this by just one click uh, with this uh, great plugin and um, styles generator plugin, and now I uh, show it to you. Uh, important before you um, generate a style out of it, the naming convention here on the layer uh, is the same, which is then now in the uh, in the styles. I show it to you. I just uh, select all of these um, layers here, and as you can see here, this is very important. You have to write the uh, the same naming convention as you want it later in your styles. And then just one thing you have to do is go to um, plugins and go to generate styles now. This is here. Uh, I can, uh, I would um, recommend to you to um, set a shortcut for it. Uh, for me, I did uh, command alt and G. Yeah, press this. And you can see here styles generated 16 styles. Now I can, can go back here to my styles and I see, yes, everything here is done for me. This is really nice. And the same here you can do for, for colors. Yeah, by colors, I did this one. Uh, uh, first, I generated the, the, the colors, the primary and the the primary and the secondary colors uh, in my case here for uh, yeah for better understanding uh, wrote down the, the hex values um, and as you can see here in the in the layer list I select all of them you got here the uh, the naming convention color slash uh, color for stands on the top then primary then uh, black the, the color name and then the percentage of the color yeah and so I did this for 20 percent 40 percent 60 percent 80 percent and so on and you did the same and uh, you do you have to do the same just uh, press the shortcut or your shortcut you want to uh, give on it uh, press G I do this for for the secondary color just oops um, Secondary color, just have a look that uh, if the right ones are selected, uh, looks good. Then press command G, do the same here for magenta. Okay, press command G, and the same here for gold. Now have a look if these styles are updated or in. Um, go to my appearance panel and you can see here I have all my primary 
colors and all my secondary colors and all uh, values here. Got 20, 20, 40 to 200 and 20 to 100 in magenta. And this is a really uh, nice and quick way. And I can do this uh, also for, uh, for shadow styles, for example. Uh, here I did the naming convention shadow, then slash and the value. Um, select all of these and press also command G and three styles were generated. And can see here my shadow styles are in. And if you want to do this for for icon styles uh, or yeah, I you can do this. You can do the same. And you can also do it for uh, for border styles, for example, whatever you want. Uh, and I, in my case, for example, I want to have a border icon style in this uh, in this style, uh, and and I can fill style in this style, for example. Here the uh, naming convention icon slash outline and icon slash fill do the same and have a look now I have my icon style fill and outline and yeah I can just apply it to this icon here if I want I'll select all of these three icons go to style icon and here the outline style for example. This is a really nice and quick way to, to generate styles uh, by just one click, uh, generate multiple styles. Really easy, uh, really quick and fast and yeah, it, this uh, speed up my workflow very, very, uh, very well and um, I would recommend it to you if you don't use it yet, uh, it's really nice. Okay, this was the video, I hope you liked it. Uh, let me down, let me know in the comments below which plugin do you prefer, which makes your um, process, uh, daily design process uh, easier. And then see you in the next video. Have a good time. Bye bye.